So in my last video, I showed a, a very fast adder using an instant ripple carry technique. And uh, since then, uh, there have been a few improvements to the design. And that's, uh, it's now too wide. Here's the design for, uh, for one adder. Um, this part here is the half adder. The yellow is an XOR and the green here is the AND result. Thanks to uh, Hans Liemersen for, for this design. It fit perfectly onto my carry line and uh, allowed it to become uh, too wide. So there we have the XOR and the AND coming in. The XOR gate controls that piston, which uh, decides whether a carry can come through or not. And they're both on, this generates the carry. And that's, uh, this is the other XOR gate that takes the incoming carry and the result of the XOR to give the output. So now that it's too wide, you can make the carry line look something like this. So, see in the red here, whoop, represents one bit. Let's say it's bit number two. And this here is the carry out. So here that would be generating a carry. Alternatively, that could be on. And then we'd propagate a carry. We pass it through. So luckily, what won't happen is, is this scenario. In this case, the carry would be going back and bleeding into other bits. We don't want that. But luckily, that will not ever happen. These two will never be on at the same time. That's a lucky way of the way adding works that makes this work. So this is the uh, design without any repeaters. Here's another one for 8 bits. Where the carry can travel all 16 blocks through 8 bits instantly. And this design can be uh, tiled. So here is a 4 bit version as fast as possible. No repeaters on the carry line. And it works in 5 ticks, half a second. Very fast. So here's a design for 8 bits. 8 bit version doesn't use repeaters here, but uses one in the middle. So um, each of these bits comes one tick later. And that's offset with some extra repeaters here. So they come in at the same time. So yeah, that's 6 bits for 8 ticks. For uh, 6 ticks for 8 bits, sorry. Alright, there's a 16 bit version. So, carry goes through 8 bits, one repeater over here, and another 8 bits. It's a very, very extra 8 bits after this, it uh, costs us just one tick. So now here are a few uh, case test scenarios, the timing device, there we go, 8 ticks. This worst case scenario, the carry has to be propagated through all of them. Okay, there's a 32-bit version, same technique. And just for fun, here's a massive 64-bit version. All the uh, outputs are synced, these repeaters, so they all come out at the same time. And we can measure it. So let's see, all of A on. We can just toggle this one. This one just toggles the one. This puts them all on. Boom. Game can't even uh, update the graphics as fast as it, uh, and it lags out a lot. Anyway, and if you look at this, that's 1.4 seconds for 64-bit edition. Sweet. Anyway, I've, uh, I'll put the world saves up. So people can uh, play with these and use them in their own little ALUs and computers. I'm sure these big ones are not so uh, terribly useful. Mostly these 2, 4, 8 and 16 bits are the, the nice designs. Well, enjoy. <laughs>